He said, well, if we've screwed it up, it's modular enough that Ron can move scenes. And the movie was released in the same order that we had the scenes on our bulletin board. Uh, and, and we were just, but it didn't, I mean, we just, we grinded on it. I mean, it, it was just draft after draft and, and just moving those cards around and colored ink on the index cards. It just, just really, it was, it was much more challenging than anything we had, we had tried before, or maybe since. Uh, but, uh, you know, as far as, um, uh, there, there were, there were, I mean, the, 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 the Cowboy Gill scene came because, because Brian said, um, that was like the last scene in, uh, Brian said, you keep telling us what a great father he is. Why isn't there a scene that shows it? So we just worked on it for a couple of days just to come up with an idea. And then it rippled up because you had to, then you had to, had to set up that it was his birthday and we put it, you know, and, and just uh, get a whole birthday scene in and, and you know, but, but it, it was worth it. He was right. It was a good note. And then the irony was that when we offered the script to Steve, he said, I love it. I'll do it. Could you please take that scene out? <laughs> so why? He says, because it will look like I just came in and did my act. And I, I, I'll feel embarrassed about it. Ron talked them into it. You know, he just said that, you know, we, you know it's not true, we know it's not true, don't second guess it, don't be afraid of the critics, you know, just, just do it, you know, and of course it was, you know, he was, he was perfect.